morning welcome to the crafty hoarder channel uh, like any of our videos if you like them and subscribe to see many more uh, that are going to be coming up in the next few months uh, this video is for a little treasure chest okay perfect for keeping a secret little bit of treasure in like that okay the box itself is quite tricky to make so that you do need a little adult help with this but the rest is um fairly easy so but it's a lovely kit for an adult to do with their child um to have spend some quality time together and as you can see it's really simple but really effective and something they can be proud of so the kit comes like this believe it or not nice and flat so making sure that there's nothing where you're going to cut at the top because you don't want to cut into any of the materials glue is only needed for the ribbon the box you don't actually need glue for and the instructions at the top of our uh, treasure chest here uh, we've got the instructions there but we've got a list of what's included in the kit and what's not included so you do need glue um, you might want scissors but that's going to be your choice really and I've um, stuck the kit so well that there we go struggling to get into it today so all the parts are inside so you have to carefully tip everything out and make sure there's nothing left in so the box comes flat packed okay um, these were upcycled they were left over I think uh, wedding favour boxes um, that were being thrown out so not wanting to waste anything and hoarding as much as I can what I did was grab them so it's really simple to just fold the lines are already uh, marked on there and scored on there so if you fold each of those lines in uh, out of all the kits this is probably the one that needs the most little bit of adult help there are slits cut in ready to join them together and now I've made three of those in the last week it actually gets a little bit easier so you can see how the back one fits together like that okay then the front one you need to put these two in the middle together first and push them down this front one has a little slit in to close it up okay so I'm just gonna bend that a little bit so this little tab at the top goes into the slit here so once we fold it together you'll see just push it in nice and gently okay so you've got the box like I say that's probably the bit that needs the most adult help okay the rest now it's made into a box it's quite firm and solid if you wanted to glue those tabs so they're not going to come out that's fine but I have found that they've, they've stayed in quite well and they're quite strong so what we're going to do is add the ribbon a little bit uh, fiddly it's a nice and shiny gold fabric I found it's easiest to put it on the ribbon first if the ribbon does fray like that one as ribbon does you can just trim a little bit off now in the instructions it says to start at the front of the treasure chest where the uh, little fold is here and stick it all the way down and over at the back I'm going to do the same on this side you can put the glue onto the box but I have found it's easier again that end is just fraying as well easier to glue the ribbon and then stick it on same again opposite side so it looks like uh, the lovely bits of metal over the top of the treasure chest to keep it secure now every good treasure chest needs a lock and I can see I haven't fully checked the bag because the lock is hiding right at the bottom of the bag okay so we've got the little keyhole so make sure you read the uh, what's included so you don't miss out on anything and I'm sure if I was following the instructions I would have spotted that bit so I'm going to glue the top of the keyhole uh, the round part just over the tab so it almost acts as a kind of little handle to lift it out as well so we can't open the box again now um, until it's dry otherwise the keyhole will keep coming off so looking more like a treasure chest so far and then we've got some foam shapes here where you can peel off the back and there's one that's looking like a treasure chest I'm going to stick that one over the ribbon while it's drying and then a 
a little ship's wheel there. You could even stick one inside if you wanted. Um, kids find these peelable shell shapes really, really handy. I'm going to stick another one on the top just so you can see it for effect. So you can see how effectively it's come together. And once it's dry, they can open it up. I can probably just about do it now and keep something secretive and treasury inside. Okay. And there you have it.